exploding some myths about chemistry. It may be school holidays, but there's no time to relax for these chemistry teachers. Around 100 department heads from around the country are spending the week exploring the way chemistry is taught in schools. Gone are the days of boring textbooks and confusing theories, with today's chemistry classrooms aiming to be vibrant and colourful. The real thing for, for, for getting students interested in chemistry, getting kids interested in chemistry, is to, is to show them that, that chemistry is a science where you get to, to make things, you get to invent things. It isn't just kind of going out to the world and looking. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of an active, almost engineering kind of science where you can, where you can design something in your head and go to the laboratory and build it. And, it's, and that's a really exciting part of chemistry, that you get to make things that no one has made before. The annual ChemEd conference aims to improve the ways chemistry is taught in New Zealand. Teachers will explore how teaching methods overseas have evolved to include the latest technologies. The main two things I'm showing and, and working with the teachers on is use of simulations in the classroom, where the idea is that the students go through uh, a kind of simulated chemical system on the computer, and the instructor leads them through and guides them. And the whole idea is that the students will, will discover principles and discover relationships on their own, as opposed to the teacher just telling them things. Several workshops are focusing on more exciting hands-on approaches to teaching chemistry. So I think it's really important that kids get a, I suppose, you know, some sort of picture that sticks with the chemistry. So they can say, okay, that was the light bulb going really bright, that was the thing that exploded, that was the red fireball, that those things really, really connect together and they can make a picture that you can hang a piece of knowledge on. The teachers will take the new ideas back with them to their schools. They'll hope it'll help them launch a new burst of enthusiasm for science from their students. Jeff Houston, no, local news.